Visco. Hello everyone, welcome back to Visco channel. So today I'm going to teach how to arm and disarm camera events using HitConnect app. For now, I'm using this camera model, the S2DE3F400BWDE, and linked with this NVR IDS7732 NXI M4X, which is a M series NVR. So this camera model have the strobe light that uses the white flashlight and audible alarm which I'm going to use for today's video. Besides, there are some features that you can customize in the camera such as audible audio which I'm going to show in the camera's configuration after this. For today's video, I'm going to show how to arm and arm silently and disarm the camera events using NVR in the HitConnect app. So here as you can see got three icons for the functions. Firstly is arm which will enable the strobe light and audio and give notifications in the HitConnect app. Secondly, for arm silently, the strobe light and audio will be disabled but not, but the notifications will still be enabled in the HitConnect app. Thirdly is this arm which will disable strobe light and audio and also disable notifications in the HitConnect app. Imp important note to be taken is that the arm and this arm function will have no effect on the event notifications in the NVR itself. Which means if I disarm the events, the notifications in the NVR's event will still be enabled. So let's move on to the camera's configuration. Now for the camera's configuration, there's not much setting you need to do in the camera but I want to explain the features that you can adjust in the camera. So first I log into my camera web interface and go to configuration, under event and alarm setting. Basically under flashing alarm light output, you can set the flashing duration which I set for 5 seconds and also you can set the flashing frequency you can set it to high medium low or normally on which is static and also you can set the brightness of the white light and also the arming schedule then under audible alarm output you can choose the audio type of the camera got three choices which are warning prom or custom for custom as you can see you can add on your own audio from the file manager for this video i just use the warning sound here as you can see you can choose many types of warning sound but in this case i'm going to use siren as the default sound and then you can set the alarm times which how many times you want the alarm to be ringing and also can set the arming schedule next for the main part the event set up in the nvr settings first i log in to my nvr interface and go to event center under event configuration You can use many types of event, but for this case, I use motion detection. Here, I choose the camera channel that I added to the NVR, which is A400 model. So for the event setup, firstly, I have to draw the area that I want for motion detection. Then I click enable. Sensitivity, I set it to 50. Next, go to linkage method. Make sure that you tick the notifi notify service center to enable the HitConnect app notification. Then, I tick the audio and light alarm linkage. So basically, the settings are done in this NVR. So as you can see, I already add my NVR and the HitConnect. So this is the camera I'm using that I configured just now which is the DE3A400 so now I'm going to arm this NVR by right the strobe light and audio alarm will be triggered with the event notifications so as you can hear just now the strobe light and audio alarm is triggered and also you can see the event messages right here which shows the motion detection triggered now I'm going to test the arm silently by right 
the stop line audio alarm will not be triggered but the event messages will be triggered in the head corner so as you can see the motion detection is triggered even though the stop line and audio alarm is not triggered so that's it for today's video hope you guys learned something from the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to visco youtube channel see you in the next how-to videos from visco bye visco